Straw Hut Media. From Straw Hut Media, <laughs> this is Randy Glanville Unfiltered. Hey guys, welcome to Randy Glanville Unfiltered. I have my favorite, I mean, I'm not gonna say of all time, <laughs> but favorite OC housewife of all time. Um, now Tamara's like fourth for me. Interesting. Yeah. I thought, okay, I didn't know you guys were, she was on the top five. Well, well, you know, I, I didn't know. I let I didn't, you guys I through girls. I, I know, I know. She's not in the top, no, not a, no, I'm saying I'm OC, said, so like you go, okay. and then Taylor goes, and then Gretchen Taylor. goes, we're going out for dinner and then with Taylor Tamara. Okay, good. Okay. So listen. Tell us, tell, tell us what happened. I was filming the first girls' trip in Berkshire's. I was at a bad place. Yeah. You were so much fun. And then we oh, bonded. Like, we I bonded. remember, like, I was going, like, I, she winked at me at a point when I was, like, triggered by my kids. And she's like, and I'm like, yes, Mama yeah, Vicky yeah, loves yeah. me. Yeah. So that was good. And then we call ourselves the core four. So Eva, Brandy, cool. myself, and oh. Phaedra. Yes. Um, it was so fun. Was I so mean, fun. honestly, we really are the core four. We really, and we, we have a strong. We really need to have this happen to have I know, a show. I know, I, and we were I feel good. Like they created it. We were really good. Yeah, we were. <laughs> oh my we god, were. Vicky! I mean, we could have shot just those days, and they have a whole show. Yeah, right. it was drama after drama, but it was like good fun, yelling and fun, fun stuff. And I decided to speak Spanish to everybody in Morocco because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought they would know Spanish. Yeah, it and was so it I just added good. an O at the She's end like, of everything. Yeah, oh. I was so horrible. Alto, I was like, you were like stop. shaking her head. And then we got hit by a camera. We were in a van separated from the other group. And Vicky and I were driving, we were driving in the back. I'm just talking. And a camel fucking backs up into yes, our car. Into the oh. car. Okay, a real a camel. Window, a giant camel. It wasn't Alex's camel toe. No. It was a real camel. Oh, wow. How's I love that? It. How's that? Woo. I mean, seriously. Uh, she you had made your own show. The largest camel toe. Really? I oh, didn't know no. that. I we did. Well, you wouldn't know because we haven't seen the show yet. Oh. But we did yoga <laughs> out on the grass. Oh, yeah. I've heard you tell me about it. We were doing yoga and she calls it a laughing yoga. So he, 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 he. Ho, ho. And I'm like, what we, she was <laughs> laughing yoga in Australia, I guess, is a big thing. I have no idea about it. Never heard of it we, in Australia. All, <laughs> we all focused in on the camel toe and her and her leotard. Oh my god! And I'm like, Eva, do you see what I see? Do you see? She could get a lot of money for that on OnlyFans. I mean, it's, it's real. So it's a real camel toe. Wow. Oh, I mean, so, like a her. I mean, but a camel to back up into us. <laughs> How about that? And when, then Vicky tried to make me ride the camel, and the camel kept trying to kill me. And she's like, Clark, get on. Clark is like, I'm get on. Not like, sure. oh, I have the video God. of you. You were so funny. You're like, fuck him. I hate him. I'm like, get on the camel. <laughs> she was like, it's she just went over the biggest camel and jumped on him. Right after we got hit in the car. Yeah. Are they have rideable camels? No, like, they, they're, they're just abused camels. animals. Oh. And they gave me the worst one at the end. It was the worst day of my life. He was he was the angry camel. Yeah, and he, he was, was the, the he camel. was the prettiest one, but he was like fucking asshole. Yeah, he was, she goes, you're a fucking asshole, the camel. I'm like, okay, he I is mean, a fucking asshole. He tried to kick me when I first got on, and then I got his screaming, and I was the very back one, and it kept trying to get me off of it. They for sure didn't have insurance for that. No, I don't think so. Well, hopefully it's Morocco. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, yeah. So we're all over the map. But so Morocco, I don't think is going to air, right? I I think no. I talked to Camille. She said she doesn't think so either, because of this lawsuit. And it's unfortunate, um, because I feel like I spent a year already like being traumatized from yeah, it and being I really reprimanded have, and being hurt and from not it financially. Working. It's and now it's a new year. We had a lot of good things happening. Actually, Tommy and Pablo found me a job overseas. I'm not going to say what it is because they're my buddies. They're actually like my real friends. Yes. Tamara fucked them over too, but we'll get to that. Um, And now because of the news that came out, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You will redeem yourself. The truth, I said on Twitter, the truth Aww. always prevails. It you does. know that, right? The truth is always the truth. You can't manipulate the truth. The truth is always the truth. Yeah, but so, how should I manipulate something? Unfortunately, <laughs> you are handicapped because you haven't been able to really talk about it because we're all kind of right. gagged right. what we're talking about now. I think that it's a done deal. I don't want to get sued by lawsuit. anybody, so we're going to be very, very careful. <laughs> yes, no, we don't have to. We really don't have to talk about that. I It honestly gives me so much anxiety. And I think that's why I had the flare up this past week. And I, oh, look at, I'm all like clenched up. I'm, I'm a mess. Like my health I is know. really fucked. I mean, it's not, it's not good. No. So 
we went to Morocco. We had a great time. We were we far, far, far away from home. Yes. And you left early. No, but I didn't. That's the thing. They put me you in a left hotel. left early -er. I know, but I was there for four days. One day in a murder hotel, and then two you more days. You texted me and said, I'm in a murder yeah. hotel. They have to move me. They have I'm to. I'm like, where are you? Yeah. You're in Morocco by yourself. Where right. are you? I'm coming to get you. Great. And I really, I'm scared you to know, death. I was trying I to come get you. I was on the first floor, and there was like a courtyard out, and there was no curtains on the, everyone could see into my room, and I was like, what am I, I doing? I kept saying, where is Brandy? I, I want to go find Brandy. Well, they, they put me in the nice hotel, but they kept me there without any, like, you, no I got to call you guys. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, they had my passport. I couldn't leave. It was almost like I was, like, held hostage. We don't really know what was going on. We were all left in the dark. And then yeah. that, then we found out Caroline left. And I'm like, the show has to go on. So I'm like, I got to pull up my bootstraps. And yeah. we're going to a casino and trying to get cheeseburgers. I was so freaking <laughs> hungry. She's like, so we did in, the, in the middle of the night, I'm like, oh, hungry, oh, I'm going to get a cheeseburger, oh. And the, and the producers are like, we're not leaving. I'm like, we are leaving. You do with not say without, no to my Vicks. My with Vicks or without in. you guys joining us, I'm going to get a cheeseburger. In Morocco, by yourself. Fuck that. I would be so scared. I mean, I'm a little scaredy cat, though. I know, but we did. We went to a cheeseburger right. place, and there was a casino. <laughs> Where did you find a cheeseburger there was place? There behind a casino, and I called Michael. I go, just to let you know, I'm, I'm leaving this place we were staying. I don't even Ooh, know what to call it. I don't know it. either. It was a house. It was a, a house. that I have to make this very clear, just real quick. Caroline and Alex stayed on the same property, but in a, separate, a separate house. house. So at any time... If she was triggered, she could walk to her fucking house. Exactly. In the backyard. For, it was like know. a little casita behind yeah, the pool. Yeah, it was like a guest house. They weren't. They didn't have to stay in the house. Right. They can have each other. We, That's fine. We, we, we stayed in the house. We did. <laughs> we we fucking ran that house. Aside from all that, it sounds like everyone was having fun. we were very hungry time. all I mean, the time there. We and there were flies a little bit. We were flies yeah. over everything. And no. I got so sick when I got, did you get sick when you got, I had parasites. I, I was so sick, like, I had parasites. just from my drama, the trauma of it all. Like, there's flies over everything, no. even in the house. I know, I, I covered, I covered, I, like, I covered everything. I'm like, they already shit on this fruit. So <laughs> I got larva or lava yeah, or whatever seriously. it's called. On everything, when I got home, I was one month sick. I had to do a detox and parasite detox and I was sick too, but I was, I don't know if it was like from that or from just all the drama. I've never been, like, I've been drama. on reality TV for 13 years, I realized. I've never been in trouble. I've never been fired. We don't get Except fired. When we I get, fire people. <laughs> right. But I mean, I got fired from Housewives, but that's it. Like, I know. You're I'll on pause. Be, oh, <laughs> fucking A. I hate that so word. I turned into, I'm on pause. Oh well, my no, God. Not, I got fired. Yeah, right. Exactly. And I don't think that show's coming back for Dorinda and them. Really? The legacy. They're not going to do it now. Because the girls wanted have too much money. To us. And are you still hey. in touch with the girls from the trip? Like, yeah, I mean, I know Brandy is. You, you, I mean, it seems like, and I saw what came out yesterday when I you were saying Eva, truth prevails. Phaedra, I mean, Camilla, and we've Ricky. heard from uh, Phaedra, mm -hmm. who was saying, I was there, love's winning. Phaedra. She's sober. Uh, we've heard from you saying <laughs> Not that sober, the truth sober. She, she yeah. has one cocktail. Yeah. yeah. So Eva, Brandy, myself, and Phaedra, we call ourselves a core four because yeah. we filmed two ultimate girls trip together and we got oh, the best right. ratings out of and we bonded i mean we were good to i mean be. even the head of bravo herself like sent us a message yeah. saying yeah this is like the, the, best, show the best show ever and she said yeah. this show is even the one that's yeah. not going to air she said it's incredible show i'm sure well, when you get feedback like that i'm doing a great job you're I coming mean, back to do this again for us because we love what thing. you just did i mean i need to see this show like a crappy lake version of you two. Oh my god we would oh not make it oh my god yeah but that would be so funny <laughs> though okay. that's the We're whole point together like, i have to work Brandy. <laughs> get a job <laughs> <I'm laughs> showing your tits you're speaking spanish to people uh, you're firing people well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we still want to get brandy to puerto Vallarta. oh yes oh, we never... brandy has told me so we were doing we the, the trip, trip plan but it started raining yeah and, and then, then everybody was a little Phaedra wanted to bring her kids I don't want I love Phaedra no. but I so can't be with kids we're not bringing the kids I love her kids we're not bringing the kids yeah we're not bringing that's not a vacation that's work yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. so we were like I'm like rain you can't go outside and kids I'm gonna pass yeah, yeah. so me and Vicky we're passed <laughs> I'm like nope and so like, you were there go. recently. You've got to place. I go place. all the time. I yes. saw Michael naked on FaceTime last time. Remember, he's in the back. Oh right shit! There? Yes, my other you meant that, Michael. Um, yeah. So I have a place there. I'm building another one there. Um, and then my dad built one 40 years ago. So we went there. The whole no, family was yeah. there. And Bob's I just bitch. got my uh, international visa. Michael's going for his. What does my that mean? That means like I'm a resident. Oh. You're 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 secondary Mexican. <laughs> Secondary well, Mexican. I, didn't know. I, I have an international visa <laughs> as a re as a resident. For, so you can try, like, so I mean, that means I go to the resident. Like, I go to the resident line. Somewhere. I go to. The, well, I don't know about that. Okay, okay, so I mean, this sounds like a girl's trip waiting to happen anyway. I go to the resident line. She's going to be in the 
visitor line like this <laughs> going to customs. Oh, I'm like, yeah. bye, no, Randy, I'll uh, see you at the condo. I have global entry. Really smart. <laughs> That's not, no, we don't get global entry into Mexico. You only get it getting into America. I've only flown private to Mexico. Oh, uh, uh, well, I too like Southwest. Okay, it's really, it's really good. I do too. Like for a short so, trip, I don't mind that. You just take a Xanax and you it's can fly two hours. Anywhere. I know. I, also, I love Cabo. Yeah. I, that, that, I hate Cabo. We've gone there so many times. I hate Cabo. Oh, when you hate you go to Puerto Vallarta, you're going to love it more, okay. more better. I mean, I've only gone to Cabo. He, somebody, Tommy said today, let's go to Cancun. You know what? I realize no, I've never Cancun been there. is a drug infested room. No, I'm going Sorry, there Cancun. Then. I love Cancun. <laughs> However, Drug infested. Let's go. Cabo is like Orange County, LA. All the people they, that go there are from here. It's like Cabo when you go on vacation, you see the same fucking no, people. I want cobblestone streets. I want Mexican food vendors. And I want that it culture. It seems beautiful. My friend just built a house next to the one and only oh, on yeah. the beach there. Yeah. It's like, oh, the one and, and he uses amazing. the one and only to service his house. Nice. So like you oh can just, God. it's so close. Is that in Puta Mita? No, um, that, it's uh, Cabo. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, I've been to Puta Mita, mm. but okay. I had so I know Cabo. It was horrible. But I don't go to Cabo anymore. Uh, I've only, my boyfriend owned like Discovery Land Company. Uh, no, my old boyfriend, my old Michael. Oh, I had a Michael. He I had a private it. plane and a lot of money. And oh wow! Actually, a guy just reached out to me for you this morning, a doctor, and <gasps> was like, "Can I please go on a date here? I'll oh. send you pictures." He's my LinkedIn. Doesn't use Instagram, that which was a great that. thing. That was my thing. I don't like guys that yes. use social media. Oh no. my god! It drives Any me guy that takes mess. a selfie that's not me, <laughs> I don't I want. Oh my god! Right? Okay. <laughs> so you take, like literally, he takes more pictures than anywhere well, else. I like, because because I don't like the way I look. It's not like I love myself so much. It's like oh yuck 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 yuck. Not true. He really look, he's like, look You're how gorgeous. good I, I know. Picture. I need to hear it a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We all need affirmations. Yeah. We right? really exactly. do. I, like, that's, that's my like, love language. Me, compliments. My love language is clearly yelling at people. That's what I told Jake <laughs> and Mark. And then I yelled at him this morning. Uh, she's going through something. So we give her a pause. I'm on steroids she's, for yeah. my, for, and they make me really agitated for this heart thing. But I, I hate that ugh. your health is compromised because of that I woman. I hate it too. And especially Does she like, understand I what she's deformed, done to you? Honestly, you're not no. deformed. You're gorgeous. No, but, but you should but, have seen me at four a.m. I can show you a picture. I, well, I'm not up at four a.m., so don't. Well, call I me. don't get up at four a.m. either. But it woke me up out of my sleep. My dogs are pissed. They like to sleep in. <laughs> They're like, bitch. Get back in bed. I'm sorry. I really feel bad about this because this should be. So we're going to do more TV together. We are, obviously. I mean, it's easy. And we're going to, yeah, we're going to go. James is taking us to Australia. He knows, like, the people that own Iceberg, which is Icebergs. Yeah. uh Uh-huh. The water company? No, it's right. It's that yes. restaurant right on the cliff of Bondi Beach that looks out over the. Oh, it's so fabulous! Every guy yeah. is really gorgeous, but I know that you're married. I went with my married friend. I'm not friend. married. Oh, what, Michael? Uh, that is not okay. But he gave me this and this for Christmas. Let me see. Is this the Cartier Love uh-huh. bracelet? <gasps> and the ring. Wow. Ooh, oh, wait, that, beautiful. You have the prettiest hands. It's annoying. I'm ugly. Don't look at my nails. She really does. What oh do you put God. on them? Well, How do you keep them so nourished? Some people oh. just have really pretty genetics. Hands. She doesn't drink a lot, no, I think. I don't, oh. I'm not a big drinker. But and I don't drink she drugs. goes to the hospital a lot. I do when I get hurt. I go. Oh, really? <laughs> I have a hangnail. A lot. I mean, Michael called me from the hospital. Like, it was an after girl trip. I'm like, is everything okay? He's like, I don't know. Vicky's in the hospital. And like, he, he was there with her for hours. I talked to him like five times. And I'm like, you know that Vicky loves the hospital trip. I do. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> well, I don't really love the hospital. I, mean, I just feel like I'm dying all the time. Right. Yeah. So, I, I have a hangnail. I got to go to the hospital. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's her thing. Go to the hospital. I actually yeah. took it. When my son was like, you should go to the hospital because I was all stolen. I started to lay down and just call 911. Oh. So I took after you, but now I have an ambulance bill that's $12,000. Yeah. If it's an emergency, you have to go by ambulance. They will pay for it. You have to dispute I, they it. They took me to Kaiser, which I have Kaiser, which is oh. they're horrible. I know. They're, that's okay, why guess I'm, what? I sell insurance for a living. You might well, want to I get your emails. <laughs> <laughs> you have my newsletter. Why would you be with Kaiser? I'm Sorry. Like, oh, thanks. Uh, I love Kaiser. it. I get a lot of emails. You work a lot. <laughs> As I said, I work, I work, I work, I work. But that should be the name of your podcast. I work. I work. I work a lot. Working girl. Right? Oh, I'm a work- <laughs> that is sexy. And she can have like a really like her tits out yeah. and like. I'm a work- working, working girl. Working girl. Hand- oh, but with, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, in an office. We're going to say that. Oh, okay, he okay. loves boobs. It's a problem. I do. He's a, he's a gay perv on boobs. No, I'm not a perv. We all have I, have no, we all have I just appreciate boobs and I'm a gay man. Boobs. It's not like I'm like, oh, I can't wait no, to get one in my mouth. He's like, can I get your boobs out? We have to get your boobs out. Let's see your boobs. No, I just. No, you like I like cleavage. Me too. I think breasts are great. They're gorgeous. I 
love him. I, I love a good boob. Issues. I like the... You no. got, she didn't nurse, she didn't breast nurse me until fucking I was three It's not a old. sexual thing. Even when I was little, I'd be like, boobies to my sisters. I love like, it. I just it's was always... You don't have. Well, I'm trying to get them. I go to the gym a lot and I... Uh, <laughs> you are uh, at the gym a lot. I am. I mean, every time I call him at the gym, I'm, I feel like... It's for my mental health. I yeah. need that's that in the what, morning. I and if I don't do it do. straight away in the morning, I won't get it done. And then mm-hmm. I notice that I'm a little bit more like in my head. Right. Yeah, I need that's to why get I went for out. a walk today. I never go for a walk. That's good. I'm like, Tommy, I'm going for a walk if you get here before. I, and I walked my dog and he got super fat. I tried to put his harness on him and he's all fat now because he's got a little like young bitch. All they do is 69 the whole day. Uh, uh, who, the dogs? My dogs. Okay, that's weird. It, yeah, well, they're her dogs, they take off. I'm, I'm hot, can I take my jacket off? I'm hot. Yes, Who's she, she like? She's four Oh, months. it was the oh, boobs coming out, wasn't it? <laughs> Sweaty. I mean, um, she's got great tits. Okay, well, like, oh, I, oh, my boobs just were bigger, a... then they were smaller, then they were bigger, so I have a scar here, and I don't like this Did side. you do that? I want to do you... like the take the I gotta get this that. this uh, vagina armpit out. Why don't we do it together? Yeah, as a we could probably get it for free. You know what I need to do what? is a Prevo or a Nevo, which Jeff's guy Doug was telling me for a whole body scan. See what oh, lights I up. I want to do that too, but I'm actually scared. We need to know what's going on I in there. Know. I mean, I'm kind of like that. Like, I'm I have just like, Kaiser, don't tell me. For them saying I have angio, stress-induced angioedema, it's almost like saying we don't know what's wrong right. with you. I think it's a stupid word. You I have mean, to find out really what's wrong like, with you. And they're like, you need to go to an autoimmune person, blah, blah, blah. I've gone to seven doctors. And I was in the hospital for three days. And I thought it was fixed. And then it ha- and when Caroline... Oh, I can't even talk about it. it Caroline don't, searched. L- l- let's not I give just, her any okay, you're right. the end of the day. The truth will come out. If they freaking air the show, They're that's such to. a good show. You have like a little wetness here. Wait, let me... Well, I'm you so hot. Really yeah, don't okay. your you guys <laughs> are fucking me out. <laughs> I want, I'm, I'm looking yeah. out I was you. hot. I was dripping in there. The other arm was good. I mean, I let me see it. I could do OnlyFans. Like, people oh, love that oh. nature shit. I honestly, <laughs> I joined OnlyFans in July because I didn't have income from the whole six months and it saved my life. I thought I was like being desperate. And then when I got on it, I'm like, I like really feeling my sexual being at 51. People you know? are paying to see an armpit. Yeah. Oh yeah, and feet. And I'm you would think thir- that like, you'd think, oh no, oh, I don't have pretty feet. No one's gonna wanna see I'm it. They wanna see feet. fucked up feet, squishing no, my, things. My, my feet are beautiful. Like my so yeah, that like, might I, not make yeah. that much money though. They wanna yeah, see my fucked up. Yeah, my hands and like I'm not good and <laughs> we got some money for my feet. Squishing some avocados if you want to go have a look. I was making guacamole with my feet. <laughs> what in the no world? No one ate the guacamole. Okay, but we did sell okay, it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I had we'll to because my face was swollen. I could only do feet pictures or boobs. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. But that's when I did. That's when I took the girls out. Like I really. I'm got imagining them out. you two now uh, over in Mexico doing hand bras right? on the balcony yeah. Yeah. Oh and being God. very and then tasteful, like, very tasteful. Like, after right. our little lipo and our armpits, we'll be like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll just get it like um. What do you call it? You can airbrush it or something. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about why you're not getting married. I'm not saying I'm not. Michael, why is she not married? Why are you not? I mean, you put a ring on just, it. We just hit two years. That is a long oh, fucking time. You guys are going to die soon. I'm going to die soon. I mean, everyone is. <laughs> and why do we need them? To, why do we need them to be married, though? Like, because it sounds like it's going well. I'm a well. married she's person. Not a slut. I'm married. <laughs> I'm that a, doesn't make her a slut. I'm not a slut. I don't sleep slut. around. She's like, she really I'm, is not a slut. She's a proper person. And I she's like had, marriage. She have a oh, you love marriage. I like marriage okay. because it just is my culture and my being Are and my family. Are you listening, Michael? He knows this. I don't date just to waste yeah, time. Yeah. I date to mate. So how, so two years, is that getting into a territory now where you're like, oh my, The territory is really? there. Okay, right? okay, okay, okay. When you cross I love over, this. Yeah. I, like, this is my favorite yeah. Vicky with so Michael. far, yeah. yeah. You know what? He lets me be me, and he lets me yeah. be goofy. He lets me get lost. And he lets, lets me. I love that. You need to have that someone that allows la- you to be you. And I want to be like you. And I like laugh right. and yeah. look like an asshole sometimes, yeah. and not be saying, yes, "Well, that's, that's too much for me. I don't want yeah. you in my life because you're not perfect." I'm not fucking perfect, but I'm a lot of fucking fun. No, you need that. I'm um, two different ones to balance each other out. You know, someone that's happy with you being the you loud, fun. Yeah, and, like, and they know that when you're putting it on, you're you're putting it on because. It, you it's kind of have to, or it's this. and then yeah. yeah, but and then and they accept that. But we all have different I think versions it's fun, for ourselves. Though. Like I, want I to like be... to have fun. Yeah, we, that's yeah. why we. I fell in love like with to each have other. fun. I like to yeah. laugh. I like to not. She, How many we, years have you been friends at this point? What, like two years now? That was longer. I, think, I mean, uh, it I seems love her. like forever. Oh, the way she I talks just, about it. I literally, I'm telling you, Tamara was like, she fucked you over. She fucked Tommy over. She fucked another person over. 
And I'm saying There's a this, litany of people. Yeah, and I'm litany. really disappointed in her. Let's get into And that. the sad yeah. part is, she's been my friend for Forever, so long. But you when always you're my fr- her. But when you're you, my no. friend, you're my friend. When I said you're my friend, you're my soulmate, you're my sister. You don't, you don't, you figure yeah, it Vicky, out. Like literally checked on me. Phaedra, Vicky, you had, they checked on me constantly after I left. Like they're my it only It was really real scary because I don't know scary. where the hell she was. And yeah. they took me out of Morocco in the, um, the, the city in the middle of the night and drove me to Casablanca to, to leave at 3 a.m. I don't even understand. It's like you were a hostage. Like you were I was a hostage. Getting out of the country. Except I was a hostage at the Oriental, uh, Mandarin Oriental, <laughs> <laughs> after, after the murder so, hotel. So back on Tamara for okay, a minute. Sorry. Because yeah, I yeah, for do, sure. I do you like, like her. Tamara. I, know. I, I mean, as a person. But she I has gotten that, that, so attracted to this Teddy thing. Oh, yeah. I don't She's like, like Teddy. Teddy would never do this to me. I'm like, what did I do? Uh, I'm calling you out on you bailing out on the Trace Amiga show for no reason. We had a show. It was, we yeah. had a trademark. We had our bank account. And she said, go ahead with it. I have it all in text. Go ahead with it. She went to Scotland, came back. It's like, called Paris, our manager, and said she was out. She never called Shannon or I. What That's the a fuck? bad it's move. It's so horrible. Just because she's busy, but flip? we're all busy. Why do you We're think? all busy. Yes. And I think she said we were talking behind her back, but I'll say it to her face. Um, you by think the way, Tamara talks me. behind everyone's, everyone's back. back. And so that's what I told her. I'm like, I don't fucking trust you. I like you, but I don't trust you. Right. That's not long drunk. term, though. Like, here's no. the thing. Things happen for a moment. They seem all shiny and new or exciting, or they're having a moment. She, they're she's, successful. She's feeling herself right that's now because she's kind of That will. It's ebbs and flows. That will come back down. Again. herself she's feeling herself and i'm proud of her no yeah on the first girl so I, I think proud that was the true tamra because yeah. she was had just been fired and she was kind of like being she wasn't being extra she wasn't being out of control she was just being nice and cool right. honestly i like nice and cool yeah me too i'm I good like with nice that cool. i do like her but i don't like what she's doing to people i, I know, love i know and this teddy and her are oh, teddy i can't what's stand. your vibe on teddy Tom, wait, tommy and is the whole thing with teddy i'm not going to get into it because it really fucked tommy up he had my back with Teddy. Teddy's like, I don't want Teddy's to Teddy's a shit She's a bitch. Like, I don't mm. take a picture I don't understand that relationship. Well, her and it, Tamara. Tamara makes money. But she would make well, more Teddy, money with me. No, yeah. So Teddy didn't have a podcast. Like, she didn't have a relationship. It was failing. It was right, failing. So I heard it was Tamara came on, and then Tamara was like, Teddy makes more money than me. And I'm like, well, you saved her podcast. Right. I go, you should get what she gets. Right. Which is like... Fifteen thousand a month or twenty five thousand a month. It's a lot of money. A lot of money. It's a lot of money. And I and, and I said to Tamara, you and leaving. I were supposed to do that. Right. Why Teddy? There's no relation. No, it I didn't don't, make I, sense. Like, I really after this whole th- thing with Tommy and Teddy, I really can't. I I won't ever with her. You can't trust. Honestly, no, I don't. But that said, like it was disgusting. And Tommy had my back, and for having my back, Tamara fired him, and then he got fired from like. All the wet house, all of them stopped using Tommy for makeup. I tell me, I could use you if they ever bring me back. Yeah, we well, don't want to go back to that show. I'm sorry, but like Tam- you Tommy, you did my makeup fabulous, and I love he you. He is great. Yeah, and I love him, and he's the one that got like him and Pablo found some a job for me. Tommy's not finding me a job. Yeah, he is because no. I I'm you yeah, you don't understand. You know that I like to work, Tommy. We, I, we like to work, work, work. I like busy. to work, work, work. I like to work. I like to make money, and I like to work. <laughs> I do too. That's what I'm not because when I'm not, that's what I get in my head. Yeah, and that's when I have panic attacks. You guys stay out there. No, I, I had, the thing is, like, I had my best friend, Mark, who's got pancreatic cancer in town for four days. He saw me, and he saw the lawsuit, he saw me so loud, I was crying, called him. He has pancreatic cancer, he jumped on a plane and came to me. Oh. And I was a bitch, honestly, for like a few days because of the steroids. I just yelled at everyone. But, I mean, it's I- It's not because of the steroids, it's because you're hurt and you're angry and you're scared. No, but I would say you're the same thing, I just say it meaner But you're steroids. a single mother, I'm single. No, Nobody's but, taking care so of me. that's the thing, I realized I really liked having a partner. He slept in my bed. I mean, he, we're not. He's, right. She's I a like shape. a partner. Michael and that's, I just said that in the car. He said, I, complimented I'm me. So he said, lonely. it's so nice to have a partner. That's what I'm saying. And, and when I had that for four days just now, I really loved it. And then he left last night. And I know. I'm, I'm just sorry. Mit, like, you know, it's like I'm in Cali fucking bastard. And my I have my kids every other week. County. It's a little <laughs> bedroom community, but it's very nice. Well, I basically live in the Calabasas community. It's like Orange County. You go mm-hmm. to the gates. Right. You have to call it. All the houses right. are kind right. of similar. Right. I know. But but no one goes out past 730 and everyone's married. So I'm the only single person there. But my kids, all their friends, everything they do are there. So after Jake gets out of high school, one more year, move into Australia. Australia? I can't. Yeah. What, why Australia? Because all the guys are fucking hot. But maybe we just bring an Australian here. 
Well, I mean, I, a lot of my friends are Australian. <laughs> he's he's my manager. He's Australian. He's my friend. He's Australian. And then but my, he lives friend here. Nathan, yeah, but he lives, we just bring an Australian here. Support. Yeah, we can bring them here. I mean, it's you don't have to be tied to one place. Why don't you be? The Calabasas thing is a little isolating because yeah. you don't have anyone there, and yeah. the kids is the only reason why you're why there. Why don't we else. do a dating show? that has Australians come and I interview them. Yes, I get lists. I get lists. Oh my God. And I was on one hour yes. date with this one over there and I gave him my list. Do you know this? Oh yes, no, I, I gave him my list because after Steve dumped me and he oh got my married. God. We're, it got married right after. That again. But I'm saying oh. to you, it devastated me and I thought I'm Michael picking Scott. the wrong people. Was that okay to say? I, I I'm picking the wrong people. So my therapist during that time said, You're picking the wrong people and you're not creating your your energy of who you want in your life. So I'm like, Pretty okay, I'm, I'm going to put this in my notes. And I went down the line. Oh my God, Must I do remember divorced. the list. Were you Must, talking about the list in the golf cart? I always have. I have a fucking list. Is that you? I love my lists. <laughs> I have but lists. then you manifest it though, because you can see it on the table. I putting it out and, and by the way, we're one hour in our date. I said to Michael, here's my list. Tell me what you don't have. He goes, got it, got it, got it, got Ooh, it. Got it. So don't could be intimidating. Don't, have, the list in front of don't have the boat. I'm like, Okay, we can cross that off. Right, it's okay. But for me, it was not being from California. Mm-hmm. I wanted somebody from really the Midwest because I was getting ready to move back to Illinois, where I'm from. Because I, I think that. the Illinois mm-hmm. Chicago people. I also are, think like long distance solid. relationships are kind of good because you get mm-hmm. me time. It didn't work. Get, he was in Texas, and I'm like, no. okay. Are you in OC full time now? Yes. Now he lives with Vicky. Oh. Oh. Where's the fucking riding wing? I can't even talk. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I need to get more wine. So I could talk better. Does oh, that that's funny. <laughs> so anyway, lists are important because yeah. you manifest your lists. Yeah. And I didn't want to settle anymore. So yeah. for me, I had a strong list. I think knowing what you want and what works and for you. And on faith and yeah. on being divorced yeah. and having a child and mm-hmm. all those different things were super important to me. I think it was a boss move putting it in front of him. I mean, I risky, that. but good because She's then you're really boss. getting it out of the way and he reacted well to it. I don't well want to waste my it, time but, yeah. two months no, into this, five yeah. months he's into like it. Very ma- like he's a the dude. Man. He's, he's dude. sitting he's right like, there, by the way, and we're talking yeah. about him like he's not here. Right. I love he that. does I have a great tell, energy when I, you meet him. It's very- I got a great tan. I got to, because he was just in Mexico. I got to tell you a funny story, Michael, I'm going to talk about two nights ago in Puerto in Cota de Casa. So Cota de Casa, quiet community. I said, okay, we're going to start walking 12,000 steps a day. We didn't do last night. So we did. So oh. he had foot surgery. He wasn't able to oh, walk fuck. very much. So now the walking is available. So we walked 6,000 steps to the country club. We had dinner. That's very, 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 very. Sounds like a then nice you got to walk here. back, right? So we're there. We're at the bar in the country club. And there was one <laughs> family there. And there was four asshole golfers that just got oh, off the they course. they drank all day. And they were loud. And they were F this and F that. So I thought, I got to say something. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I, I walked I to the restroom. That. And I stopped. That's and he's me. like, oh, no, here she goes. She's going to say something. So I said, you guys, could you tone it down a little bit? Because... <laughs> I worked all day and I haven't seen him and we have a lot to talk about and they basically they basically said fuck you. Oh, oh yeah, not to and then, Dixon. and then one of the guys said you're that fucking bitch from the Housewives of Orange County. Like, and I've never seen I've never it. seen this guy in Coda de Casa Country Club ever. Yeah. So Mr. Macho Man decided to come up and this. like basically chest yeah. pump him, <gasps> but the guy wouldn't but, stand up. Of course not. Michael's gigantic. <laughs> so so he had your back. That's what I want. Okay, what a power move but later that I night. Did you give? Thing, but I thought, like last night we had this talk with Mark and Jake, my son Jake and my friend Mark. And Mark's like, why are you bossing me around? I'm like, because I'm, like, I'm the boss of you. And then Jake goes, yeah, she's pretty much the boss of everyone. And my son knows that. Like, you don't fuck with me. Right, me neither. But I need a guy to come in and actually be the boss of me. But you also want a man. No, that's Like, this thing. guy swore at me. No, he said, you're okay. a fucking bitch. And if you start yeah. with that, no fucking, my, like, I had a boyfriend who was French. I'm not allowed to talk about him on this podcast anymore, but somebody was breaking into my Range Rover. It's on TMZ. You can go look at it. He ran over and beat the shit out of the well, guy. I said, Michael, we're in my country club. I don't want to kick kicked out. So sit down right now. No, he's like, Bruh. so we left. And I thought, oh, shit. This you is- should write up the golfer's names. Well, Michael went to the club yesterday and had a conversation with the manager. They're going to pull the tapes and they're going to pull the guy's wow. name. The guy was a jerk. Yeah. And was, you don't fuck with Vicky. No, in well, I like, and yeah. I, can't, I can't sit there and somebody's effing this and effing yeah. that. This is a private club. Right. You have yeah. to like somewhat It's at be nine o'clock at night yeah. on a school night and I just wanted to have a nice salad with him and have well, a nice... a little bit aggressive. Well, the reaction also told, she gets really like... mad at my language too like when we first met she's like why do you even talk like that? I don't like cursing. <laughs> I don't but either. I know but like it's just I know. me. But... but and I just said fuck I think a couple I don't, times. I don't, I'm saying I you bonded now. To, I don't, I'm not a swearer. No. I'm, not, I'm not an over drinker. I'm not a swearer until I'm, until I'm with this one here. <laughs> um, we have so, so much fun. So, so that was 
disrespectful to me as a lady sitting yeah. there with her boyfriend like why are you guys so loud oh i know why you're so loud because you're, you're drunk wasted. get out don't and, they have to kick them out well i asked the bartender to like to, he, goes, been, he goes they've been i would drinking. be so chuffed if my man come out behind i and, know right. so, i love that so michael am i saying that story wrong is it perfect no, he's very no he's happy. feeling like 10 feet taller than is he, he already is right like like I, don't want him him to, I didn't want him to punch him but i wanted him to put him in his place no, like exactly. you don't talk that way to a lady yeah and and that's disrespectful and she's not a fucking bitch no well i mean you have her moments we all do I wasn't, I just said, you guys need to tell me. She's my fucking bitch. Exactly, but I would have done the same thing. So with my ex-husband, he would always go, go do do your, be confrontational. Like, I'd be like, excuse me, can you guys move over two seats? Because we want to sit here. Correct. So he would never, like, have my back. He would push me to kind of do things to that he didn't want to do. Oh, like ask people to that's move or whatever. Okay. That's it wasn't hard. honestly, no. but but I had to take it in my arms and hands and personality and just say, because I was going to the restroom <laughs> Love this. and say, We're like, that's could, just could you guys Vicky. tone it down a little bit? I mean, I thought that was a kind way to I say. I might have to go to the hospital shut up. if you're yeah. shut up. Yeah. Like, shut up. Like, yeah. You're loud. You're yelling. Yeah, you're yelling. Well, they're not I at a TGI yell. Fridays no, or whatever. But they, you know what they do? They drink all day they're on the golf course. So then when they get back, they didn't know how loud they were talking. They were very wasted. I was like this isn't because working I, for my me. Ex was a and I, I kept saying to Michael, I gotta go over there and talk to him. He goes, No, you're not. You're gonna sit here. I'm like, I gotta go to the restroom. So I walked right <laughs> oh by Michael. And that. then I went back and go, Can you please you know, that that's I love that. That's what Michael, do you have a brother? He did, he just passed away. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Debbie Downer. <laughs> bom, bom, bom. <laughs> okay, next subject. Okay, so what? So what's going on your with your your trio situation? You have a new one. So so it was the Trace Amigos show. Yes. And then one of the Trace decided to do her own thing. So which is fine. The show must go on. Just like uh, a band breaking yeah. up. It's Who cares? no big deal. So now we have the Shannon and Vicky show. We got like eight shows lined up. This guy named Paris Hilton with HPA talent is booking us. And oh, then I'm doing a financial tour after that. Oh my God, so she's I'm a going on woman. the road talking to people about finance because people are not learning it in college or home I or know. if they're married. My, yeah, my kids, I have talked to them all the time. So because they you don't have understand. to be financially fiscal Secure. and right. educated. Uh, talked to a lady the other day. She's like, okay, we had six credit cards and 29% interest. I said, who oh in their, <laughs> who in their, that was a really hard who in their brain has six credit cards at 29 percent interest do you I see mean, a lot of the instagram videos the girl math and what do you think about it i don't you know, know her but i know my math, uh, my okay. math i'm an algorithm uh, i'm a ma- i can yeah. remember math no, i see that, i can remember yeah. phone numbers I, and, I and account numbers but i'll never remember names no, I'm so kind of that same. i'm in the same i just but I, don't remember I, I work with either. numbers doing this 34 mm. years and I don't understand financial literacy is not being taught anymore mm-hmm. in the colleges or at home. So it's because people just think somebody's going to take care of no, them that's most how, of the I mean, time. Honestly, that's how my kids kind of see it. And I'm like, I'm paying rent and I'm paying for your car mm-hmm. and your insurance mm-hmm. and for your door fucking right, dash. Right. Um, Right. So they you don't need get to it understand. Yet. So when We're, this, I this, always stress th- them out. this will help you. So. When I was in eighth grade, I remember vividly, my father owned three construction companies, wow. very wealthy. I grew up in a very wealthy home. He lost everything because he got Alzheimer's at 59, died at 66. My mother never Ooh, worked. She depressing. never had a checkbook. She never had a credit card. So when the transition of my dad dying, I was like, mom, we need to sit down and go over the bills. And she's like, I've never paid It happened well. to me yeah. when I got a divorce at 36. Nothing was in my name. I had yeah. one credit Same card that Eddie gave to me mm. and I had no credit. And I was out in the world at the Range Rover and one credit card that he he blocked. I got seven hundred dollars worth of groceries and diapers, and my card didn't go through. I had to leave everything there, and I had not one penny to my name. Mm-hmm. And I had to build. I learned the hard way, so I always tell my girlfriends, "You go get him. You go. You have separately. You get your credit." My parents mm-hmm. had to. My parents had to help me get a loan. To get a car mm-hmm. because I didn't. It's something I have. I don't have bad credit. Right. Right? Just well, right now it. I have you almost perfect credit. Right. Credit. But it's because I built it up because mm-hmm. I learned. Right? I learned the hard way. Mm-hmm. Like I couldn't get a car on my own at thirty six, and that's really mm-hmm. fucked up. Yeah. But I just let a man take care of me, and I I was. And you pay for blind. it. Blind. Right. So I always say, if you let somebody take care of you, you're going to pay for it somewhere. And sure. we walk in this. We are born in this world alone. We're going to leave alone. And there's well, going to be many men, getting- <laughs> many men coming in out of your life, or women. No, and you just I, have to be. I think 
Michael's the one for you. He left the room, so. I told him if he leaves me. Oh, he won't. We'll kill him. I will come find him. I will find him. He goes like this, I'll find him. I have a phone number. There's a movie like that. That's scary. But I say it jokingly. If you want to leave, leave now. Don't leave. No, he has a nice energy. Don't leave five years from now. I'm like, don't leave five years from now. If you want to leave me, leave me now. Because there's nothing new going to come out about me. Everything's on the table. But like, that's the thing. I'm type A. Google's not our friend. You, you get what you get, yeah. you don't get upset. Right. Yeah. And like, if everything needs to be put away at the end of the day, yeah. yeah. You know what we're, I mean? Like, uh, you have to really be alpha because yeah. we're super alphas and you have to be able to do it. And he's doing it. I'm so happy yeah. for you. He left. He's, he's not here. Yeah. I, we're not, we don't need to give him back. Uh, so, so, anyway, it's, it's so far, it's so good. I mean, two years, that's we're, so great. We're, we're good. But I don't want to wake up five years from now and go, you're not my person anymore. I mean, that could happen well, to it anybody. Does. I mean, people fall but out of I, love. But all I was the time. five years with Brooks and five years with Steven and ten but years of that, my life. It but was is like, there is that seven year itch thing? And every time I hear Ryan's roses, scratch it. I'm mm. like, oh, I love Ryan's well, roses. Me too. It's so I see Ryan Rosie. Ryan, Ryan Seacrest does Ryan's in roses in the morning. Oh my god, I see my car for it. Yeah, oh, I'm at the gym sitting outside waiting. I don't even know what you're saying. They call up and give you free roses when they think they're cheating, and if they say the wife's name or they'll say the mistress's name, and then the girlfriend's on the line too, going, "Who the hell is?" Chanel, no, like why? wife is on the line yeah. like, trying to find her husband cheating and he yeah. usually the guys are so stupid they send roses to their their mistresses on the radio and then they're like are you sure this is free so nothing can come know, back right? to me and no then they're like okay uh, like, uh, Vicky can have them and he's literally married to um, <gasps> and she's on the phone yeah and I'm she's on, on the phone. phone and she's like who is Vicky but it's uh, always five to seven years when this well happens. doesn't he know the show that it's, it's a cheating show yeah, no one no, seems to know it's, it's I mean gays these guys it's don't, gays and gals yeah exactly the guys yeah, husbands aren't listening to Ryan Seacrest in the morning listen to you guys have a lot of time here I don't I take Jake to school it's like seven minutes I do not listen to radio like that I listen to the morning news yeah. and that's it I'm no, not I, I don't even I told Jeff anymore. this morning I don't even know how to get on his channel I was on Jeff I don't like Jeff, but it's okay. I love Jeff Jeff I loves you and he said to say hi no. he said to say hi and fake I like hi. I love yeah, fake, no but Chris and my best friend too loves him too and that's fine for them but we had like he pushed things a little too far with me like with the whole thing on Watch What Happens Live and he caused he said to say hi and he loves you that's it. All right. I mean, I'll take so, the love. So but, you know what? I didn't talk to him for four years. Yeah, that's how I've been. It, like, but but he right. squashed the beef and he realized there was no reason for him not but to But I think me. I understand him. Like, he is that person that lashes out and then understands it later. And I am that person that I'm lashes not. out. But I get it in the moment. I'm not. Like, I, I yelled at him like via text. Read the fucking room. And then I said, I'm, I'm not a lash out person either. I'm I will be like, out. does this need to be said right now? Is this about me or is right. it about what that person <laughs> right. is going through in the moment? That was incredible. Because I'm only going to compound like, my shit onto that situation that's not about me anyway. And then it gets worse. Then I feel worse, even if I'm I right. I don't like making people feel better. No, we don't need to sort this okay, out now. Let's not fight. Let's not fight. <laughs> and he's like, can you come a little early? Uh, <laughs> okay, you're okay, not listening let's to me. Not oh, but, fight. Okay, but I, oh, you want to fight? You want, that, you want to bring the drama? <laughs> oh my God, that's just what I'm getting. Yeah. We, we don't need, we got this show right now. We don't need I'm anyone else. I'm sitting here with you two, exactly. So I love and respect her and I hate that she's going through anxiety because yeah. anxiety is the worst. I have had panic attacks in my life and I I literally pushed him up to the sky and I said, you're not allowed back in my life anymore. You have to literally manifest it out of your body. Tommy, your wait, mind. What, what, what was I saying today? This I'm morning. I'm in charge of my face. I'm in charge of my life. I'm in charge. I'm in charge I'm of my charge brain. Of who my comes in, life. And who comes it, into your aura? I'm making it go down. I really did make it go down. You and have we to had do to find yoga. The I love that find it. Do you do, you do yeah. yoga or no, anything? So when Mark was here, we went to this amazing place. You have to go. You guys, I have to take you. So it's an energy healing place. I want that. Yeah, you have. I went. I still I said, feel like I have a lot of scars on me no, on my back. I, I, we literally because he's got like the most aggressive cancer you can ever have. We laid in there for two hours for like two days straight, three days straight, and we we had energy. We were calm. I didn't drink for three days, and it's like it was. Do just you drink amazing. a lot? I do when I'm alone. So that's an interesting thing. So I have realized that alcohol is a depressant. Oh, it is. Yeah, and for sure. Not that I, not that I ever had a drinking problem because I don't really enjoy no. the after effects and the calories and the sugar and all that shit. Yeah. But when you are around people that drink a lot, they they do have mood swings and they do get anxiety. Yeah. So maybe we just need to do like bubbly well, water. I did. For a while. I mean, I did that. But when I'm alone, honestly, like. I don't like being alone. I know. But that's it does make I it feel. worse, though, because yeah. it is that depressant. I know, and so also, I'm an antidepressant, so it's like, I feel like it 
equals out. <laughs> well, you know, they say, okay, so drinking is borrowing joy from tomorrow. You'll have oh, to pay it back summer, the next by day. The way. So you're, you're, you're having a great time summer. and it feels great at the moment, but you're taking the joy from the next day out of that to have that great time. Okay. So and let's say that again slower. Okay. So you're taking you the joy out of tomorrow. Yeah, by drinking. By drinking So today. you have to pay it back. Because you're going like to feel bad yeah, tomorrow, yeah, is what you're saying? Yeah, uh -huh. But what if you never feel bad tomorrow? Then the joy is still there. Then you want to drink again. Well, because you've got that depressant, though, the next day and you feel down. I don't. I take my antidepressants at night after. I do not I want to be depression. around alcoholics mm. at all. Mm. I, hate it, I, hate it, I 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 hate it. I hate it. It makes me feel scared because I think personalities change with oh, alcohol. Oh, for sure. And I also feel like, well, I'm not keeping up with you, so you think I'm a prude. I'm not a prude. I'm no, a, she's the I can move with the fuck up to, to all of them, regardless mm. of <laughs> alcohol or not. I'm actually I, surprised to hear that you do drink so little, actually, from seeing She doesn't drink. I, drink. I always try, put, well, yeah. we did smoke a lot of yeah. pot, but. Well, I, I, no, I, never, said, I never really smoked pot before yeah. in my life. Yeah. But you, it, it yeah. was like, Vicky All literally, literally was, was like, we, Alex stayed in the cooking cross bathroom for so long. And we she was had, washing her hands for But an we hour. were like <laughs> fucking <laughs> high <laughs> and, and drunk. It was like that Beyonce song, mm -hmm. drunk and high. And we were sitting there waiting. And then she opened the door and then she's washing her hands really slow. And, and Brittany and I go, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I'm like, you're going to do the H whole alphabet, aren't you? And, then we were and like, I had never heard that before. And I <laughs> burst over laughing. I'm like, Brittany, we you were like, you were the funniest pants. thing I've ever seen in my whole life. You're like me on steroids. This is funny. It's this is funny, fun. funny, funny. We were having the best time. We Honestly, went to that market. And I, well, yeah. When, remember when I ate when, the soap and I thought it was a I mean, we had like vodka jelly bean. in our water bottle. No, I didn't. You ate you soap? Did. Well, then there we was a situation where we're out there at the soap farm and they told me it was like a jelly bean or something and I ate it and I was like, <laughs> she, I'm not. telling you, she's the best time. She's like, like, get on the fucking cam on me. Uh, no. And you would think I would be like down for it. I was scared to death. And it was I cold like, there too. This is too. the worst day of my life. We brought. But this is you sober. How we brought, fun. Yeah. We brought sundresses. We thought yeah. it was going to be the desert and it was 30 degrees and it we was, were freaking oh. freezing. Yeah. And I loaned Caroline my jacket because she didn't bring one. A lot there of you go. Did she did give it you? back to you? Yeah. But I haven't washed it yet. Burned it. I so, should burn it. Yeah, you should burn it. But I really love it. Mm. We it's love leopard print. So. Alexis so Bellino. Like oh, yes. What do you think about oh. that? I don't know her at all. So what was interesting what, at BravoCon, I got the Lifetime Achievement Award. So it was very oh, emotional for me. And I got through my 45-second speech. But the people that were there, they were, they asked Michael and Brianne to present it to me as a surprise, oh God, and they couldn't so make cute. it. I know. So what appeared was Lori Waring Peterson, Joe De La Rosa, season one. Oh, yeah. Alexis, which was on for a hot minute, and yeah. then Gretchen. So there's four of them. Joe, no, it was three of them. Joe, Lori, and Alexis. And Alexis got up there. She goes, well, this is interesting. I'm the only one that hasn't slept with Slade Smiley. And I got, oh, well, this is about my award. Like, right. I'm standing there going. Doing? And Gretchen was like, okay, this is weird. And Lori's like, this is weird. Oh, yeah, poor Gretchen. Because, you know. <laughs> so I thought, why why would, I thought, why would they have Gretchen or Alexis up there? So I thought maybe they were grooming her right. to come back this season. So she's not full time. She's a. Yeah. But why did they get rid of her? At this stage, she was that almost, guy? But she, no, oh, no, oh my God, that's no, a, yeah, no, we she wasn't. And, but, but supposedly um she ran into john jansen at a's which is a watering hole in newport um and don't anybody go there because it's a pickup place and everybody tries to pick up my boyfriend there so he's not allowed to go there anymore <laughs> and anywho, I know it's, if anywho, anyone fucks with michael i will fuck them up. uh yeah i was there on, like i'm like, saying for you i was like on date 10 and these girls are coming up with their boobs against his back i'm like Dude, oh, what's going on you here? I really like, love that. It was weird. So now, <laughs> anyway, that's where John and Alexis ran into each other, supposedly randomly. And they sat next to each other. And the next thing you know, he's giving her his number. And the next I mean, week later, I'm imagining a week, how that conversation goes. Week, I want to be on the show. Do you? Right. Yes, we do it. it. A week later, she's saying she met the love of her life. And no, this uh, was Shannon's all, boyfriend, the one that. Shannon oh, yeah, was, four years. I mean, come on. I mean, I don't really love Shannon. I know you do, but that's horrible. Listen to me. No, I don't I'm care saying, who you like or don't right, like. Exactly. That is wrong. No, right, if you want a horrible. relationship with somebody, get off social but media. why would Tamara be friends with that person? That, and they both were in a lawsuit with them. That's what I'm saying. Like, Over $700,000 for defamation so with Jim just, and Alexis. she like, just shit on you and Shannon and went and did her own thing. And right. now she's friends with Alexis on the Because she's filming with John? her. Well, I, I don't... Because it's going to be better for John wants show? to redeem himself through Alexis. I don't know what he's going to redeem himself about. I John and I... 
and Michael, we went out with Shannon and him. We were, he were fine, yeah. but he wasn't always shown a good light because he's because mm-hmm. he's yeah. He's and what do you mean? Does, he, does he have ulterior motives or yeah. like, does, he, he, does. Want he, he wants, he wants to, be, to be on the show? He likes yeah. the camera. Yeah. 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 And I mean then, that comes across. And, and, as and as I was going to say, Alexis is a beautiful girl. So she is. Is it gorgeous? she's pretty. But if you want to be with somebody's partner, keep it off of social media. Right. Why are you that, posting that's everything? That's you know it's fake yeah. when, it, when they go IG like, I mean, right well, away. Well, it's like it's also almost a mutual agreement. Like, we like, both know yeah, we want to be on this fucking show. Quiet. This will for do it for us. For almost a year, I yeah. kept I, like, him almost quiet. As much like, as, like, whatever with Shannon, I feel bad for her. And I mean, uh, like, I actually like her, but, like, we just, yeah. I think we I think you guys just need to have a conversation. Yeah, because just I like just, you and Jeff. She was really mean to, to Ryan. I just don't like when people are mean to I don't like people. I don't like people mean ever. She was mean to you, Ryan? Yeah. Maybe it was by accident. No, she's mm. she can have a bad day too. She can have a little bit of a irk attitude. So can I. So mm. can you. Right. Oh, so maybe there was a situation, like, but give her some grace. No, I will. And then so, that's the thing. Like I can over shit right away. I love shit. So if you you say that, then I will feel like I I can probably get there. Okay. The, the funny thing is that Tommy, say hi again. He's here. I love Tommy. I love Tommy. Um, Tommy, when you guys got your new show, he called me. He's like, we got to go support Vicky. And where were we going to go? Ontario or somewhere? Ontario. Tommy, thank you. Oh my, I'm like, yes. I go, well, who else is doing it? <laughs> so so no, that's what we were yeah, going to tell you. We're going to drive appreciate there people that, and stay there. Thank you. That we stay the night and we yep. go out after. Yeah, we'll do that. Because no one wants to like drive no, back. No, 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 so no, no, we'll do that. This was like the second you guys put out your, your dates. You. And like that's how Tommy fucking rolls. Yeah, and that's, you got to like, have that, like, this is a Tommy and this is a very me. small circle exactly. of people that you can trust and be with. And you know, Shannon and I didn't talk for two and a half years when I got off the show. I don't it like was that. all of a sudden like, why are you not talking to me? She doesn't really know, and I'm like, I don't do anything wrong. I mean, there's a lot of drama on like with within her life. She got divorced on yes, camera. Yes, but then and, you like, get your ki- circle yeah. around you that people that support and love right. you. Like, but it's hard. When, I mean, like there's times like in my marriage where I didn't know who to trust. Like, I know. And when I was going through a divorce, I'm like, is this person like going to report back to that or what's happening? I know. I know. It's just the hardest thing. So I, I'm all about communication. So you have to have a conversation with Jeff. You have to, I'm fixing this. So have a conversation with I Jeff Lewis because he, he really said to say hi well, to Well, I mean, Kristen loves him. Kristen's like, I've known for 25 years. I was in Who's her Christian? wedding. Kristen Takeman from the, oh, yeah, yeah, the, like, the gorgeous okay. one. Yeah. And she loves him. She's like, I'm going to his like uh, his show thing. I'm like, he's got a good show. Fun. I'm very proud of him. His <laughs> no, he, Amazon he Live does show. A great, he, he does a great he show. He does a great job. I'm just saying. He's all about work. We're, we're he, three he days live, apart. We can birthdays. all live separately. So be fine. I think that. I think a lot of these beefs can be squashed. I think yeah, that. Yeah. So I Shannon know that. and Jeff and me and you and Michael and James are going right. out to dinner. Okay, and we'll Tommy's too. Okay, Tommy. And Pablo. A Pablo. That's going to be a big group. Big group. So who was replacing, sorry, in the Trace Amigas, who was the new, new person? Do we cover so that? So Doug Buden is going to be our MC. He's on Jeff's show. Oh. Uh, but right now it's the Shannon and Vicky show. I and then that. I'm going, that. and then it's kind of like Thumb and Louise. We're yeah. just going to have fun. We're going to sing, yeah. Wherever I go, whatever you do, we're going to go through it together. So that's what we <laughs> sing. And I don't really know how to sing. Yeah, yeah that sounded yeah. pretty no, good. Is, so, yeah. so, you know that he's a singer? He's famous no, in Australia. I am not. He's a okay. pop star. Away from that. Oh, He really is. He, like, okay, can I tell you something funny? In Australia. Mm-hmm. Can I tell you something funny? I yeah. really don't know how to sing very well, and I don't know how to dance. So, have you heard you, Lisa Barlow sing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Silent Night oh, or whatever. So, so I, and Michael, you might want to chime in. I realize I need voice lessons. Okay. That's so I, I want to do it too. Okay. We can do it together. Yeah. She but, did actually ask that But recently. in my dream, yeah. I was doing voice lessons. I was doing the, the octones yeah. and the doubt. So anyway, I woke up Michael going, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. he's like, what are you, what are you doing? I'm like, <laughs> I'm in voice. So my whole dream was real. I know the room I yeah. was in. I know my voice teacher. I know the whole thing. Dreams so do you are, have a current really... vocal coach that you're going no, to? No. And he can so probably find I woke you up, one. Michael. Is the end of the story. I woke up, Michael, because I was in voice lessons, <laughs> and then I, then I was going to tap dance yeah. lessons. And I'm like, are you guys during COVID? I bought tap dance shoes. I, and wanna, I was living in a condo, and my other. I want to learn how to dance. I suck oh, at I dancing. Oh, I can dance. Oh, I'll show you. Well, oh, no, you're not you. showing me. I'm going to go to like just, the, just the, don't let HR be around. Wait, what's it called? What's it called? That Fred Astaire dance studio. There's one in Laguna Hills. I'm going to try it. I think the stripping pole one is good. I have a stripper oh. pole. I don't I know. Mean, no, I'm not checking that. I it's am called, not going to be in a stripping pole. Vicky, if there was a pole there, okay. she would be on it. Honestly, she's so much fun. 
Like really, I love sexuality. Me I love too. all that. I mean, she had a teeny tiny bra on, so did I. And we had little, very little on. I mean, everyone was really naked except for that lady. That lady. That I don't grandma. want to say her name. She's a grandma. Well, so am I, but I'm not. No, 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 no. You're I'm a, a glamma. I'm a, I'm a glamma. Anyway, I like it. Anyway. <laughs> we don't want to give her any limelight. No, you're right. I'm, I didn't didn't mean to, but it, I have triggers, you know. I have lots of triggers. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh my God. I have not. I'm very. Just, I'm a people that believer. Very Jim Carreyish. I have lots of triggers. <laughs> I have lots of triggers. Yeah, I have triggers. of course you do. Don't lie to me. Don't cheat on me. Don't steal from me. There's a lot of triggers. Don't cuss in front of her. I got in a lot of trouble, and then she, now she likes me a little bit. <laughs> Wait, I like your love. Well, I like your love. No, I know. I'm kidding. I mean, I just meant like it was so good because I'm like, we are not going to get along. And then when we did, I was so it was glad. The wink. It was I the know. wink that it was folded really you. did because I was about to murder Dorinda. And I, was, I, I, no, I was about to murder Dorinda. I know, and I still love right Dorinda. out of the gate. I but don't I like, like Dorinda. Okay, she well, was not nice to me. She right. did not well, make I mean, me feel I like, welcome. I like everyone. I'm she mad She did not make I'm me mad. feel welcome at her house, and we were starving. <laughs> oh, was this the first girls' trip? I remember, yeah, we were starving. I remember this. Oh, she yeah. even ordered we bagels. We got the highest yeah. ratings of any girls' trip. Yeah, but trip. she was nutty on that season. Dorinda, I love Dorinda, yeah. but she was like, "You're well, in my house." That was the mistake. Putting her in her own house because it was like, like, "I take my shoes off at my own home. Don't have to tell me." Vicky was not having it. She, this is we need to go. This is not it. I was because we were in her territory, and then we wanted to go order pizzas at mm. two o'clock in the morning because we were all starving. Yeah, it was mm. not a lot of there, there was a, the, the, We were starving. Yeah, <laughs> there was an ownership over the group, so it and wasn't. We got like it, it a little tiny fun. piece of veal, and I'm like, <laughs> like is there more? I don't <laughs> eat veal. I'm starving. It's yeah. just beef. Do you eat beef? It's a baby cow, bitch. I, I don't really like any I'm of not that. Bitch. I will look no. at I'm pretty drunk when I, I don't get really like, I don't really like eating anything with a heartbeat anymore. Oh, oh really? I'm You're kinda, vegetarian? Have you seen? I like, just don't like the way I feel. I feel thick. I feel like, I like, it's, like how long does it take to get through your colon? I heard like 20 yeah. weeks. Oh my God. I just thought a piece I have of beef. to have like a colon. It's hard for me to eat steak a lot. I have to do just, one too. We can do it together. <gasps> Okay, I, I'm you know scared. What? I they just poop. sent me the kit. I don't poop. Me neither. That's so weird. We talked about this. No, I don't. We don't like that. And I don't sex. pee either. Oh. Me either. I don't pee and I don't we poop. We're just gonna get a colonic every. I've never no, had, we're not. We don't gonna, do anything. We're gonna oh. get a colonoscopy. Oh, because okay. I think we have blockage. When you hit 50, they, oh. they, they kind of make you try oh. to do it. Then they you send you like poop, a poop, thing in the mail. I was like a hurled poop, poop, poop. Full of shit. Some could say. No, I just I don't like. So then I don't like eating much because I'm thinking it's never gonna come out. So why am I putting it in my body? Yeah. I wish I had that problem. Oh, that would be so good. Michael poops, Michael poops like four or five times a day. Oh, my God. And right. he poops uh, every, every hour. I'm my like, dad that sounds in, amazing to I me. Know, right? like, <laughs> so my dad was in the hospital like with, with his fifth heart surgery. And I went to Sacramento. And I was with my Uncle Gary. And we had to go to restaurants like because right by the hospital. Because we thought he was going to die. He's alive. And he's an oh, ass. God. Dad's an ass? Yeah. No, he's not. You said you love your dad. I do love my dad. He's an asshole. Don't say that. Because I tell one day he's going to be dead. No, one day he's going to be dead like my parents are dead. And I would take back. I've never called no, my parents. No, he and I have a very, have name. like, I would say that to him. We have a very close relationship, but you can't I'm call a your dad child. Asshole. Yeah, he, but he is. You can't call your but dad But he asshole. calls me way worse things. But like, I can't have my children call me an asshole. No, but I my dad and so I, have, I have a, such a different relationship with my dad. It's like, we joke about it. I'm like, don't die on me, asshole. You know, it's like, okay, a, it's that's kind of like, that's okay, but you can't say dad, you're an asshole. No, but I slept at, at Kaiser every single night when he was in the hostel. Okay, my sister, we, my brother, we or have my to mom. Be respectful of our parents. I, I'm very close honor, to my mom honor, and dad. Honor, honor, honor their I know, but my dad, he already knows this. We have, we butt heads my entire life. A middle child, I'm the black sheep of the family. I'm the only one that you didn't go to college. You are not the black sheep. Yes, I am. They do not watch anything I do. And it's not because sometimes you're embarrassing, probably for them. Absolutely, but the I'm family not, tree. It's kind no, of like no. I'm just what I'm saying. But my dad was embarrassing growing up with his dove shorts and his peenies hanging outside, <gasps> and he was a drug dealer. And so I have good stories. Like I, I my wait child, a second. Go back to the shorts with the penis hanging out the side. <laughs> you know those little dove and dolphin shorts. The, uh, dolphin shorts. Why they didn't have, he tuck it in with the underwear? I don't. Me? No, your dad. Why didn't he tuck I mean, it I tight? Think he's like in doubt. Maybe yeah. I would oh, guess. Oh, God. How did we get here? <laughs> oh, okay. Slippery <laughs> slope. Let's go no, back. Like, you guys, my dad is super handsome. And my whole life, like, my would my sister and I would be out with him. And he'd be like, these are my girlfriends. So he's very flirtatious. My mom does not give two fucks. She's like, go ahead. Like, my mom's so chill. Yeah. She's never said fuck in her yeah. life. She's only been with one man, my dad. I love and that. They, I, you would love them. If I could go back in time, 
You, well, I, no. I had a married yeah. my first, I had a divorce my first husband. I got married at twenty and divorced at twenty eight. Well they got married they got married at nineteen and they but, together ever since. But that's really cool. That's like my mm. parents. Yeah. I have never I'm the only one in my whole family tree all the way up the lines that have ever been divorced. I was I ever. So am I now my brother's getting a divorce and it's like all over again. This Does explosion. he live in California? Yeah, that's why everyone's a second. That's why. That's why California people think it's a divorce. Like you're going to the supermarket. But my it's a different is, time no, now. My parents too, are still together. You know, I love it. It's that, acceptable to you get have divorced. To, like, this is plowing through the problems. Exactly. That's I told Michael, a, we're plowing through any problems and just, <laughs> I'll I find you if you try to leave me. I love these subliminal messages. We're sending, oh, not so subliminal because you said that. Yeah. I'm very strong. I'm very strong. Very I, love, I love marriage. I'm not, I'm not dating just no, to pass time. No, she's very sexual. And she's like, I love she's sex. like, she's Ooh. very like, I, you know what? I, I call her vixen instead vixen. of Vicky because she really is like this sexual creature and I, we're tall girls and like every, like it could be intimidating it can be intimidating like because right. we're so hot oh i had to have a man six foot one or mm. or tall oh, i can't i don't do the height thing anymore because of course you have to i can't because honestly like i love a jewish boy and they're all short i know I, if i didn't find michael i probably would have gone jewish yeah because, because I they the really know how family. they really know how to take care of their women yeah i, I like the jewish religion me too I mean, that's michael the really the strict that one Cabo. i really liked him but we're still good friends, but he's older. I mean, he's like the oldest guy I ever dated. He's like thir 13 years older than me. But I dated him like- 30 is not good. No. I thought you were gonna tell me 30 years older than you. No, 13, but like I dated him- Then he's like got like 30, gray balls I was like 38 stuff. or something. He would have like gray balls. Oh, he was he, yeah, years older everything was great. His well, private why did plane you, was great. Why, why would you just for men down there and get that gray gone? Oh, yeah, well, he yeah. Didn't have, I shaved it. I love shaving everything. But like, or just get with like one of the things you scrape the hair off of and it but you might touch his skin. That's the whole his point. Balls. Maybe, maybe not. Are you talking about doing it to the guy's yeah, balls? Yeah, because I like to get shaved by a guy. Like without, like just, you have to be really I careful. Know it's super hot. Oh, no, I promise. No, I got lasered last <laughs> so you week. you just put nair on My, and then what? Ew, that was, oh. that was, that was mean, you can't that get it near your C word. So you oh. have to like, anyway, I was getting the my- The C word? Wait, uh, wait, you mean? Oh, I thought uh, you were going to say cunt. No. Like, oh, yeah. No, it's anatomy <laughs> that girls have. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought, I mean, we have, a, there's a lot of cunts around. Oh. I mean, I feel like Tamara's being a cunty right now. She's being very mean to me. Yeah, I And she could say that. she's hurt. Guess what? We're both hurt, so have a Every, conversation right. with me. Why is she hurt? Because she says I was talking about her behind her back, and I was, and I told her to her face, you think yeah. you're better than me. And you're not. I, mm. I told her that she was not faithful. Like, I, you're very, like, you're very She's bad. like, Teddy would never do this they, to me. They don't even like each other. How long has she been friends with Teddy for? Three, four years. years. How long has she been friends with you yeah, for? Well, exactly. 13. Yeah, so it's very different. 14. She's known but her for that. Me, then, honestly, you know like, what? It's all who's bringing in the money. Right. Yeah. I, I, that's well, exactly that's what actually is. really shit. And very sad for you to have it's to really realize, I've invested 13 but years, and this is what's important to you. We've had conversations, and we're like, would, let's not tell Tamara anything. We like Tamara a lot. But Tamara, we're like, tell it to phone, tell, tell Tamara. She'd be like, she, 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 she tells everybody everything. Everything. And Nothing I like, is I just confident. don't trust you. Nothing is confident. But I like her, yeah. but I wish she would just behave. I'm going to call her after Probably this not and tell her everything it. I said. Probably not going to have it. She's not going to no, behave. No, I think she's she likes with, like, to cause a bigger, better deal. She said, Teddy would never do this. I'm like, you're because making Teddy money with you. Teddy. This, You're making money with Teddy. Teddy's not gonna. Teddy needs. Teddy's her not gonna ask her where like, she was January sixth. She asked me where I was January sixth. I'm like, <laughs> I was in Port of Yarna. Why? I mean, that's. Can be you drink it? She's so. Can hurry. you believe that? Where were you January sixth? Do what you think it? I stormed the Capitol on January sixth? Oh you dumb my. bimbo. Oh, wait, that's what she thought. Online? Oh, oh no yeah, she way. said it. She, she set it up. I Bravo Khan. Oh, oh yeah. No, that is horrible. Not only did she not do Tracy Nuga, she tried to take you down. Teddy. But no, that's, she did the same thing to me. She's, she's, she's not a disgusting. nice person. She's not a nice person. No one likes Listen, her though. Why? I, I, I heart, I'm going to call you on this one. Why? I, but I love Amy Sugarman. I love I, I heart. I, I like I love Amy. Ryan, I, but I, 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 I don't know why they're not bringing me on because I'll blast that ratings up through oh, the roof. 100. But there's no. But they go so low I'm that they're, like, and plus, everyone they talk about will never speak to them again. Plus. And at a point they're going to have talked about everyone. Plus. They have to watch a lot of TV and to, to talk about the shows. Yeah. I don't watch TV. Because you're getting fucked. They are not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm serious. I like, don't if you have watch time a lot to of TV. I am not going to talk about another show but and you know trash what another girl. Told me, and this is because you're going to mad again. She said Teddy does all the work. All she does is show up and give her opinion. That she doesn't even watch shows most of the time because she doesn't. Want she's, to. Got, she's very, very busy. I'm very, there you go. But like if Teddy did all the work, I'd show. I'd go there too. I mean, 
I mean, Ryan does all the work. I think I Heart does a lot of the work. Too. Love you, Ryan. <laughs> Love you, Ryan. Anywho. Oh, we have a, did you get the same uh, water bottle that James got? No. Yep. There's oh, a bird. Fine. There you are. You're like, there's a bird. Oh, I am. Yeah. No, stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I can't You're like, where's the bird? Oh, my God. I can't take my AC, my Adderall because I'm having a panic attack. And then then Tommy brought me some diet pills or something from the pharmacy. <laughs> and we Just couldn't find do. the Xanax <laughs> under the fucking bed. Uh-huh. We were on the floor. I'm like, it's blue. It, like, a look for blue. He's like, babe, we were trying to lift the mattress up. Oh, You're killing me. Because I you're gave Mark me. my last Xanax last night because he had a red eye. Okay, well, you're, you're, you're killing me right now with was, all this stuff. Girl, you got to stop you taking all the stuff. Oh, no, I can't. Get clean. <laughs> <laughs> Get clean because you know what? It might be overreacting everything. Oh, for sure. But like imagine. So I quit everything at once. Oh, I was talking to Tommy and he wasn't even here. Love you. <laughs> I thought, I didn't know you left. Don't leave, Tommy. Oh, you missed some good stuff. He's, I love them. I'm just saying he's a solid, amazing friend. You're a solid, amazing friend. I don't like Teddy. And right now I'm not liking, I like Tamara, but I'm, I'm kind of disgusted with it. For me, when you're my friend, you're my friend, you're my sister. Yeah. Like I said 10 years ago, like whoever I like, you don't have to like them relationship wise, yeah. but don't trash them. And that's yucky. It's like, geez, I oh. think everybody needs to stop drinking so much. That's my viewpoint. Cheers, bitches. I think that people are overindulging to. Well, ever since COVID, I think it. I'm like, sober. I know. How did you get sober and why? <laughs> um, I got sober. Oh, God. <laughs> God. <laughs> Could get cocaine. Really dark. He did a lot yeah. of cocaine. I, but I'm talking about alcohol. Yeah, or, so... Um, can't I mean, do cocaine. All, that's weird. Do you know what? I'm I mean, very fentanyl. sensitive to, like... I have a lot of anxiety as well. And you know what? Just being brought up on like the Xanax or the, you know, a lot of different pills Free. that you need to take. I actually forgot what my baseline anxiety I was talk, because you're always up and down. Telling her. So just I eventually just needed to get off it all so I could get my sanity back. And I actually went into treatment like because I needed somewhere to go where I would be you're away. You're really fast. And... Um, and then it just was, it was so much better. Those big gaps of clarity but that I, I think could get you might need and that. readjusting. I was just like, this is so good. And I, if yeah, I find it under time. the bed, I'll give you a little nibble. No, I don't. Because <laughs> no. you know what? You think it's you helping really and it does don't. in the beginning. It does, but then in it, the moment. It makes it worse because they, they only last a couple of hours and then you feel much, much worse than you did when I you really, began. I only take like, uh, when I have a, an attack and like, mm. I don't take it all the time. I so would, I don't yeah, really, I, it just too. makes me tired. I think, I think I think you're under control with it. I think the people that aren't under control, you know, like I okay. think I would take uppers if I could, like probably like all. You the don't time. need an upper. <laughs> you don't need an upper. And I don't need an upper because no, you do not. You do not need an upper. I, I mean, was focusing more on the alcohol in- intake. And in Mexico, my son was really aware of this. We were in Mexico with my son. He's been there for three months, and he said, "Mom, you drink every single night here," and I'm like. No, I don't. And then I thought, shit, I did have a glass of wine Mm -hmm. at dinner or I had a beer at the pool. And he's like, that's not good for you. He made me realize that you're drinking more than you ever do at in California right. and you're living here part time. So why are you doing that? And I because thought, you're not on vacation anymore. Yeah, I'm not on vacation. It's like you're, you've got that. And he's like, I only passport. drink two days a week here, mom. And you're drinking every day. I'm like, because I'm on vacation. He goes, you're not on vacation. Yeah, Jake uh, said that yeah, to me when my know? son said to me, he's like, are you having, he said something like, are you having a drink and no one's here? And I was like, that's wrong. Yeah. I, but now when Jake's at my house, I don't really drink. But Mark yeah. was at my house. He's not drinking. I didn't drink for three nights. I felt amazing. Yeah, you do. You do. I really the did. next day, I mean, regardless of whether you get shit faced or whatever, you my do husband. feel a little bit more sensitive mm-hmm. the next day. Yeah. My friend and I would always call them the days where you're like, I want a boyfriend. Why don't I have a boyfriend? And then oh, the next God. day, you're like, oh, I don't right. care I don't about that. Right. That's why I got another <laughs> puppy and she's out of control. But like, right. everyone's like, you're so stressed. Why get a puppy? I'm like, I'm lonely. Yeah. And my older dog is like, a little kind of gonna die but they're 69 all the time so maybe she's a new life or whatever but like right. if he he left me and then i didn't have the puppy i would be so alone so i'm mm. dealing with her chewing yeah. up my entire house yeah. oh shit and she's we so showed sweet. me pictures of she's her. so cute so sweet. okay well i'm not but, getting a puppy so but, but I, you have michael I, I, <laughs> he's your puppy I mean, I, in a good way i mean like i just like i like, a, I like something to take care of i like something to take care of at my house and mason's at my house i have purpose yeah you know what I mean? Like Cook they're my loves, them. and like mm-hmm. even if they just come down for right. dinner or go to my room and we talk right. shit, I throw a tennis ball at uh, Mason's girlfriend. Oh, yeah, they. It was a small one. Out. It was for the <laughs> no. It was uh, they just uh, came back from tennis and they were saying uh, something and she loves me and I uh, love her. Yeah, yeah. She is amazing. I'm not supposed to talk about her, but 
And I'm not allowed to follow her on Instagram at all. Oh, shit. I know. We have I'm all these trouble. rules with our kids. It's so funny. But you know what? I follow them. But they know. Like I said, Jake last night was telling Tommy, like, I'm the boss, mm-hmm. you know? And that's what I, I mean. Well, you have respect for your children. and They're letting you be the boss. And right. you know what? We are supposed to be the boss of our kids. We Sorry. are. We have to look out for them. That's yeah. our purpose. Mm-hmm. So when they're not there, I get very lonely. I'm coming down for a threesome with you and Michael. Okay. <laughs> but I don't share. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't. I mean, I only want you. Uh-huh. Okay, that doesn't happen either. <laughs> he can watch. This doesn't work. This yeah. works. Oh my god! What did Leanne look and say that time? She goes, um, "It's just two vaginas too many for me." <laughs> women too on many. Women. That's two vaginas I mean, too but, many. I'm strictly dickly. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's other things that you could do. You don't have to just scissor queen. Okay. Well, how about if we change the subject? Okay. Awkward. We'll negotiate oh that later. Okay. okay. It's going to be a We're long process. We're going to get Vicky on OnlyFans, and she's going to have. She's going to just never show boobs. It should be like. Oh my God, she's going to make $10,000 a day. And I have this fabulous photographer. She does Chris Jenner, Selena Gomez, everything, yeah. but she also does naughty photos as well, like hand We can do it that. one day at the ho- uh, mm. this house that we have. Okay. Well, that sounds weird. Like, we're like traffic. We have people. a house in Bel Air. <laughs> yeah. We do. Mm. It's the content house that they give it to you for the day. It's amazing. You go, you so you pictures. do the OnlyFans. You don't Not go through me. Me, no. But he has uh, an agency yeah. that he signed up with. I was with an agency before I met him. If I embarrass my children, they will never speak no, to me so, again. Well, my kids They now, shouldn't subscribe to it. No, my, kid, <laughs> well, my kids said no way for a long time, but they saw me so stressed about money and all these things. I'm like, you guys, you're 16 and 20, almost 17. I'm going to go on OnlyFans. I'm like, I walk around my house half naked. I'm very like body positive, sex positive. Like, it's just who I have right. always been. So because well, your parents confident. are hippies yeah. and they're like, yeah, ne- we never had bras or clothes on really right. half the time. Mm-hmm. All of my like pictures of the child, I have no shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, that is creepy. Like everyone that sees, because uh, uh, we were just like, go on swimming, take our shirt off, Well, until in. someone tells you that's dirty, put it away. I right, mean, it's just a body. It's kind of that's weird. like, yeah, like my little, my little no, no. Cora, because oh. she's got three older brothers, my little granddaughter, she's almost going to be two. She takes her shirt off and goes yeah. outside and plays basketball because the boys saying. have their shirts right. off. Right, you want to fit you know? in. And so like, it's like, okay, Cora, this is I know, but she's also, not even two yet. She doesn't understand. Yeah, it's the cutest thing. So, but like, so some people are like, "Oh my god!" Like all of the family photos, I'm half naked. <laughs> well, when you're a kid, it's I so mean, old. my dad's mm. crotch was out. My mom never wore a bra. My mom was the most. She still is. She is such a beautiful woman. I'm sure she is. But she was like know. five nine. We like we went to private school, even though we were very poor. My mom was a housekeeper. My dad was a janitor, and he worked at a grocery store. And we went to like. Baptist church, a Baptist school. Love um, that. No, a, 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 another thing, and we ended up. Well, that's why you have faith. School. That's why you have faith. You have your. I do, you're, but you're like but the Baptist school scared the shit out of me. They showed us like this video of the resur- like the when everyone goes the scene there, like this a kid holding a doll, and all of a sudden the doll's on the ground, and it's like that stayed with me forever. And why then, is the doll on the ground? Because the God took everyone up. I left you know, the doll there. What's it called? Like right, resurrection. The, not the resurrection. Something well, like that, right? So, but I was no, scarred not the for life from that. No, no, it's another thing. But like, I remember that video. He came and took everybody that was a Christian. Yes, exactly. And I was like, but that's a Baptist belief. Then we went to like Methodist, Methodist? I was okay, gonna well, say Methadone. And then we ended up <laughs> at, like we were Lutheran, but we, my parents just wanted us to have a good mm-hmm, upbringing. Mm-hmm. They worked so hard. Mm-hmm. We lived in a very bad neighborhood. So they put us through private school with all Love of their that. money. Mm-hmm. And until high school, then we all had to like go public and get the fucking naughty. Thank God boys were there. I mean, high school. Was what time really... is it? I have to go to work. Oh God, of mm. course. Okay, yeah, all right, we're what gonna go. What time is it? What time did we start? We've done a good amount of time. 11 right. to 12, 12, 13, just so I can get back to work. And then go oh my work God, we're, we're getting her, her own podcast called, <laughs> I, I'm like Working Girl. Oh, what's it? Yeah, Working Girl. Working Girl, and it's working Nikki's girl. podcast. I'm a working girl. Yeah. Okay, so tell everyone where they can get tickets for your new show and Everything. So go to my Instagram, Vicki Gumbelson, but it's also HPA Talent, HPA Talent, and we're going to go right to there and you're going to get the tickets That's for whatever not show. It's like HPV Talent. That would be bad. No. <laughs> Hewlett Packard Talent or HPA Talent. I think it's HPA. HPA. Uh, and you go to Vicki Gumbelson. My, all my tickets are there. Um, and also Shannon too, and Doug Butens. Oh yeah, you know, we, we have, have to Doug go. We're going to go. Yeah. Yeah. I said Tommy, like we're, he really wanted you to go. You go on the road with me. How's that? 
Like, yes, like we'll pay I you for that. it. We'll no. pay you for it. No, I, you can be on stage free. with me. I will go Wherever for free. Wherever we go, whatever we do, we're gonna go through mm-hmm. it together. Mm-hmm. See, how's my voice? I got. I love it's it. Really good. It's really you know good. You know that, like Leanne Rhymes, like I like her a lot now. She has the best voice. But her manager told me if you could sing "Happy Birthday" decently, then you can do any. You can sing any song. Happy well, birthday. the vocal coaches will help you do that. Like you'll be able she to increase voice. your range. I don't. My, do, mine's do. very deep, and I think that's I need good though. Sexy. Our mind is so high; it's horrible. I mean, I have. The well, in my voice. dream, I was really good. You're gonna be good. Michael's like, like if wake you up. want something, you'll get it. I'm like, gonna that's get it. You. Yeah. I'm gonna get it. I'm manifesting. Yeah, same. A like, podcast or a and, it's, and you're gonna something. Like, a I'm show. manifesting it. Like my brain. I want happen. it all to happen. It will because it's gonna happen, and you're in this great space. You have never looked better. Oh, thank yes. you. Oh, you look amazing. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. You have to learn to say compliments. Okay, yes. I just said thank you. you. Know what? That's, yeah, that's I feel thing. good. I'm in a good place. I'm yeah. happy. I'm healthy. Um, I'm You're getting laid. I'm getting laid. <laughs> Very important. Love it. Look, and, Ryan's and even laughing. Most important thing is I'm getting loved. Laid. Well, that's you too. Are, I'm you love. are. I'm, lo- I'm getting love. And love is one of my lang- well, yeah. five lang- love languages. Well, I love you. I love you more. So, affirmations physical touch spending time all that stuff my time is scattered and precious so i value what i'm doing i stay focused in that and i go to the next task thank you for being here that's you know i tried to do it for mexico i was like like, this this is is better it worked out way better and thank you for honestly like i know you work a lot and thank you for coming welcome and the support for brandy truth always prevails i love it thank you thank you i mean it worked out well because we're going to be up here anyway so i said to michael do you want to drive me to LA <laughs> because I hate driving in LA? And do you want to go to the two shows I have to do, and then we'll go to lunch, uh, and then we'll go oh, back yay. to work? We're going to lunch. Yay, on that note, to lunch. let's go to lunch. Let's yay. Go to lunch. Bye. 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 We did it. Thanks for listening to Brandy Glanville Unfiltered. Download new episodes every week, and if you haven't already, subscribe and be sure to leave us a rating and review. And while you're at it, check out some of the other great shows available on Straw Hut Media. <laughs>